Dear students, our today's topic is output devices. After completion of this topic, you will be able to discuss about output devices. So let's start our lecture. First of all, we will see what is an output. The data processed into useful information is called output. So user can receive output from the computer on a screen or print on the paper. So students, a hardware component used to display information to the user is called output device. And some examples of output devices are printers, plotters, monitors, and so on. So let's discuss them. First of all, we will discuss about monitor. Monitor is the most commonly used output device. It consists of a screen and different electronic components that display the information on the screen. Monitors used to display text, graphics, and video in different colors. It is also called visual display unit. In the output, displayed on monitor is called soft copy. And different types of monitors are cathode ray tube monitor and flat panel monitors. So students, let's discuss them briefly. So first of all, we will discuss about CRT monitors. CRT monitors uses cathode ray tube or CRT. CRT tube creates an image on the screen using a beam of electrons. CRT consists of one or more guns that fire a beam of electrons inside the screen. And CRT in color monitors consist of three guns. And these guns generate red, green and blue or RGB colors. And the other colors are generated with a combination of these three colors. Next is flat panel monitors. They take less space and are lightweight. They also consume less power than CRTs but are more expensive than CRTs. They do not emit harmful radiations and use digital signals to display sharper images. And different technologies used in flat panel monitors are liquid crystal display, LCD, and light emitting diode, LED. So I hope students, you understand monitors. Next is printer. A printer is most commonly used output device and they are used to print documents on the papers and the output printed on the paper is called hard copy. So students, printers are classified into two types, impact printer and non-impact printer. Let's discuss them. Impact printer, a printer that produces output on paper with a striking a print hammer or set of pins against an inked ribbon is called impact printer. It works like a typewriter and it uses electromechanical technique to print output on the paper. And some characteristics of impact printer are the impact printers are slower in printing and produce low quality output. They also produce more noise during printing. And impact printer are less expensive. And the examples of impact printer are character printers such as dot matrix and dizzy wheel and line printer such as chain printer or drum printer. Next is non-impact printer. Non-impact printer produces output on paper without striking the paper is called non-impact printer. Non-impact printers uses electrostatic inkjet, laser, and thermal technologies for printing. And some characteristics of non-impact printer are they are faster and produce high quality output than impact printers. And they produce no noise during printing. And these printers are costly than impact printers. And the example of non-impact printers are inkjet printer, photo printer, and laser printers. So I hope you understand the concept of printers. 
Next is plotter. A plotter is an output device that is used to print high quality large graphics in a variety of colors. Plotters are used to print engineering drawings, graphs, maps, panaflexes, and so on. And students search large printing is not possible with printers. Plotter print continuous lines and plotters are more expensive than printers. Different types of plotters are flatbed plotter and drum plotter. Flatbed plotter is used to draw images on the paper and it uses pens for drawing images. And drum plotter uses rotating drum or cylinder and the pens move to left and right as drum rotates. It is used to print large panaflexes. Next is speakers. A speaker is used to receive audio output from the computer. And most personal computers and mobile devices have a small internal speaker. An external sound speaker can be attached to the computer or mobile device for high quality audio output. And most of the computer users at home need a speaker to listen the music. Next is projector. Projector is an output device. It is also called optical device. When we use the word optical, then optic means light. So students, we use the light waves to get the output. So output is in the form of image that we project on a big screen. So that's why it is called projector. Projector is used to display information on large screen and the information may be printed on wide screen or wall. They are used in colleges and universities for delivering lectures. So students, how to connect a projector with computer? A cable, video graphic adapter, is used to connect projector with a computer. So I hope students you understand all the output devices. Thank you.